What is up, bro gamers, and welcome back to Tunisia Part 2. Hopefully you guys did not forget about this Let's Play. As you guys may remember, when I started uh, another separate Let's Play, a minor Let's Play with Kosovo, I promised uh, John Rainville that I will play as Tunisia, and I did a vote for that on the YouTube poll, and of course came out with a bunch of votes and yeah I did a first part for Tunisia just to see what's up I annexed Libya in the first part which was a success and now my next target is Algeria and if you guys don't remember my goal this is a minor let's play by the way my goal here is to annex Algeria and Morocco as my last two nations and maybe just maybe go for Western Sahara as well since that's a part of Morocco or something like that but we'll see how far this let's play gets uh, Again, two to three more, na two to three nations left to uh, annex, and then this minor let's play will be over with. And now I haven't been uploading that much lately at all. Again, guys, I just plugged in the PS4. You don't, if you didn't know, I just bought myself a 34-inch uh, uh, monitor. Instead of having two monitors now, I finally have one big-ass wide monitor, which is also uh, the LG brand, by the way, no longer Dell, since my last two uh, monitors were actually Dell. But this one's an LG 34-inch. It has two HD HDMI's in the back, which is pretty cool. And it's also 75 hertz. My two previous monitors actually were 60 hertz. This one is 75 hertz. Uh, my brother actually has a monitor, which is smaller compared to this one. But his is 120 hertz. Now, some of my friends have told me there's a difference in that. Uh, for the 75 hertz, though, uh, there is some minor difference. Not that much compared to the 120 hertz, but that'll cost you around 700 maybe? 600 $700 or more. Uh, my dad was talking about buying a curb monitor, which is also 4K and probably 120 hertz, something like that. But that was going to run me like around $1,000 or more, and I was like, hell no. I just went to Best Buy, just spent like around 300 to 400, yeah, somewhere around nearly 400 dollars for this monitor. Again, I just wanted to get a big ass wide monitor and uh, get those two out of the way, so finally have one instead of two. Uh, letting one of my friends borrow one of the others since he kind of messed up his last monitor playing Overwatch. So then, uh, Persona 5 plugged into PS4. I've just been playing a lot of Persona 5 lately, and uh, also watching anime, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Now that's kind of not giving me enough time to uh, upload videos, make videos, or even stream at all at this current state. <laughs> I come home, I just want to take a nap, I do that, and then I just want to play Persona, Persona 5 and, you know, just do what I have to do go to sleep, eat something, shower, etc, etc. You guys get the gist of it. And then videos, I just feel like I just have no more time to do this. Time management for me is terrible, okay guys? I just want to play Persona 5 right now. I got the PS4 already plugged in. So, if I ever do stream again, I will let you guys know. Right now, I am forcing myself to upload a video since I almost forgot about this let's play with Tunisia. So right now, it's already like 11 o'clock. I got home like around an hour ago. I'm forcing myself right now to make a video. Something for you guys. Without further ado, let us declare war on Algeria here. Already, Algeria has garrisons already stationed there. So that is not good. Wait a minute. Oh, that's something different. I haven't seen the, uh, there's a desert camouflage pattern for the T-90 tanks, which I've never seen. Uh, it's, usual, it's the usual green, and I think also there's a uh, black and white camo pattern for that T-90. Let me check here in Russia. T-72, well, for some reason it's a different color scheme uh, in the small avatar, but when you zoom it in here, uh, it shows the all green there, T-90. I cannot see the T90 because I am low tech compared to Russia, I guess. Um, that's a bummer. What about in Ukraine? Do they have it at least? No tanks. 
Uh, no tax. Let me just click Libya. I mean Algeria. Excuse me. And no, it doesn't show. All right. So I guess there's Battlegold Studios decided to uh, add different color schemes for uh, different tanks now. And the T90 has a desert camouflage now. I like it. A much better desert camouflage, by the way. It looks retextured. Looks a little HD compared to the old regular uh, desert camouflage patterns. Like as you can see, this is the regular one right here for uh, every uh, tank. The Leopards, the Abrams, the Lecklerks, you name it. Those are just the regular color schemes of the Desert Camouflage. But now it looks like it's been retextured and updated by Battlegold Studios. So I kind of like that. That's what they've been doing lately now, anyways. Alright, so it looks like I pushed in. I took the village there. Good on you, Tunisia. But I also got to be careful because I do not have enough units. This is all I have for Tunisia, like around 175 units total, army-wise. My navy is on standby over there, so are my air units, as you can see. I've got a 29 there, I've got a couple. I'm still wondering if my allies will come to assist me. Again, I do have four allies, that being Egypt, Turkey, France, and Italy. Why European allies? Well, that's because they're across the Mediterranean, so why not? I don't think they'll be assisting me, but Egypt should be able to, but they probably won't. I don't think so. And other, other news uh, around the world <laughs> for this Let's Play, uh, as you can see, Iran has annexed Turkmenistan, Kurdistan, um, Russia, China, North Korea have like a three-way war going on right there, as you can see. Uh, I don't know who's winning this war. It looks like Russia is pushing into China but it looks like North Korea is pushing into Russia so again it's a it's a triple threat match going on between the three there and Vietnam is also with China down there in the south southeast uh, what else is going on uh, France and next Switzerland actually earlier if you guys didn't see it but I was trying to repair units and that happened and I think that's about it solely on Europe and uh, Asia where most of the action is taking place and myself around Africa all right so yeah this is gonna take a while to uh, annex Algeria part of three I'll definitely annex them but right now I just wanted to, de de to declare war on them get a video up make some progress and uh, finish this let's play as quick as possible I still have forgotten about Kosovo I'm gonna finish that one eventually guys Oh, they're trying to surround me now. I'm coming from behind. So I'll try to surround them here. Let's see if I can. And yes, I did. I succeeded. The AI usually does that. I never fall for that, guys. That usually happens. Do we got a garrison there? I do. Only one. I think he can handle it. I keep forgetting to put garrisons, but again, garrisons are limited. I've only got like 19,000 in my reserves right now. Oh, he's gonna take that village back. I gotta destroy that tank real quick. There we go. Missiles away. Missiles away. There we go. Alright. Let's check the stats here for Algeria real quick. Um, that's combined with Libya, by the way. Algeria, 15 unit kills, 52 unit losses. They got some kills in there, but I've got the most there. And they're gonna start to send units one by one here just to harass me. It's gonna be annoying. So you guys, uh, you won't be seeing that many videos at all. <laughs> Probably for the upcoming month. I mean, that's what I said. I wanted to stream next month. I wanted to upload as many videos as I can. But again, I just bought Persona 4. And I can't just let it sit collecting dust. And I just plugged in the PS4. So, I might as well, you know. Say goodbye to me. Not entirely, but Persona 5 is a very, very long game again if one of my friends has put two more than 200 hours into the game I can probably surpass him and put more than 500 hours in there
so that might be a problem. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I just feel like I just, I just want to take it easy and just relax. I'm just so fatigued. I'm just tired now of uploading videos every single day, every single week. And besides, I've got all the time in the world, I guess you could say almost. But people, you guys are looking forward to uh, my videos, to my streams especially. But Supreme Ruler is dying out, and as I stated before, Hearts of Iron 4, I think, is where people want to see more gameplay. Same with Europa 4, and maybe even FIFA 18, I don't know. I've been doing, I did a versus of that lately. I've got another one coming for that too. Greece has declared war on Bulgaria. What? Uh, I'll just support Greece. Why not? I don't care. Russia, Philippines. What is this scenario? Hang on. Ooh, look at the U.S. there. Trump is giving me everything there. It's just the regular old 2020 world scenario, though. Every time I play for fun, on my own time, this never happens. The world drastically doesn't change for me when I play alone by myself. But when I'm trying to make a video or stream... All this sh shenanigans around the world, all this crap and mess happens. And it looks like Greece will probably annex Bulgaria. As you can see, they're already pushing into the capital city of Bulgaria. And then again, Russia declaring war to the Philippines. I don't think anything's going to happen lately over there. Since Russia's kind of busy with both North Korea and China. Oh, and also Japan. I forgot to state that as well. But yes, Russia and Japan are already fighting it out over there in the northern territories which belong to Japan <laughs> in my opinion uh, alright so that's a major town Anaba we're gonna capture that there I can use my uh, my navy actually now because that's a seaport there there you go I'm still gonna save it for last though definitely gonna use it for uh, Al Jazeera once I reach their capital city and I think they might, they might have given up already. They might have lost all their attacking units, army-wise. Algeria, again, 84 unit losses. They might have a couple in the reserves or somewhere around the country. And again, it's a huge uh, country in North Africa. So there could be a number of sporadic reservists around Algeria. Alright, so let me try to repair some units, I guess. We're uh, waiting. Waiting for nothing, to be honest. Um, if you have any concerns, any suggestions, feedback, guys, just let me know in the comments below. Again, I truly apologize for not uploading that much lately this entire month. And uh, this week in general. Actually, the week just started, so it's alright for now. I've still got a pre-recorded part for Burkina Faso. Yes, Burkina Faso, an African nation in West Africa. That uh, I decided to, you know what? Might as well. Random, right? Against Mali. I've got a pre-recorded part for that. Uh, Panama vs. Colombia. I accidentally com uh, deleted that <laughs> pre-recorded save. So I might have to do that again. And uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff that I still got to continue and finish, man. Still got a bunch, still got a bunch. Ah, oh, shit. A tank. And he skedaddled and ran away. So, my friend is Snapchatting me right now. So, I think this is where I'll end part two of Tunisia once I capture this agriculture facility and destroy these anti tank units. And this guy's a uh, goner. Or maybe I, should, I could capture those towns. And just end it there. Ah, screw it. Let me just end it right here. All right, guys. So there we go. Part two of Tunisia, the declaration of war against Algeria. Part three definitely will be enacting Al Jazeera, and from there on, going further west towards Morocco and Western Sahara. As always, guys, subscribe, like. Thank you for all the love and support, the continued support since the very beginning. I know I've been letting you guys down this past month. Just because I haven't been uploading or streaming anything lately at all. But again, Persona 5, man. Anime, conventions, cosplaying, too much. And also work, most importantly. 
responsibilities that I gotta do, guys. All right, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, let me know if you see any difference in the gameplay. Again, 75 hertz now, 34 inch monitor. I feel like the game is a little more smoother compared to uh, my previous gameplays with my older monitors. I feel like it's a little more smoother. Haven't been seeing that stuttering crap in a while. But chat guys, let me know in the comments below if you see any difference. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.